everybody, this is Praxis and it is a beautiful day to be working outside today. It's almost 80 degrees, there's a nice breeze coming through, it's very comfortable. I opened up the house, uh, all the windows in there, and I've, I've been running the, the fan that's grabbing the hot dry air from the top, pumping it down into the slab, warming up the slab, drying out the slab, which is the critical thing. You know, I don't really care what the temperature of it is at the moment. In fact, in the summer it'll be nice if it, I had a cold slab, but right now I'm just trying to dry that slab out. There's a lot of moisture under there from all the rain that had been falling in. I just want to get that bone dry under there. But for me, for work I've been doing is this today. When I came uh, first thing, I did a little bit more bracing. This board you see going right up the middle is pushing the peak so that it's the proper orientation east-west. And then I ran some boards right across the top and did all of the little floor, uh, ceiling uh, joists. Got them all nice and perfectly straight up and down. Uh, and then I just went back to ripping through boards. Uh, again, because of the intelligent design of where I laid out all of the uh, all the posts. I have uh, zero scrap still. Uh, I, the 10 foot boards don't have to be cut at all. The 20 foot boards get cut to be the 14 foot length. That gives me an extra bit of uh, board for the last bay because the 10 foot boards don't go the entire length. And then that leaves me with a little bit of scrap left, o left over which fills in this space exactly because I designed this space to be fit, uh, filled in exactly. And I'm, I'm working out all the different places where I'm having posts to, you know, maximize or minimize the amount of scrap that I have at the end that's going to just firewood because it's just too small to really use. And the amount of that at the moment is zero. There's not a single square inch of cedar board has been wasted. It's all going up into the structure and that's going to increase the chance that I'm, I'm going to be able to finish it without running out. I, I didn't overbuy as much as I used to at Home Depot because they gave me a real hassle about returning stuff recently and I just don't have any faith that they're going to be taking stuff back. So where normally I would have overbought, you know, I'm pretty close and I'm not sure whether I might run out because I extended the structure up a little bit. So we'll see. I have a plan in case we, I do start running out of stuff. Uh, I'm going to do the entire bottom in cedar and then up above the collar ties, it's going to be kind of a loft area. And I could kind of intermix some of the pine that I have left over from this structure because I know I have extra pine uh, boards from the the house structure. Uh, I'd love it if it was all cedar, but again, I didn't want to overbuy because I got screwed by Home Depot before, and uh, you know, there you go. So it's already working. I'm already pay spending less money there because I just don't uh, don't have faith that they'll take the stuff back, even though they, they guarantee that they will. So, yeah, they, but overall, great day to work, going fast, and uh, I'm really happy with this structure. It's a really strong shed, overbuilt. <laughs> That's it. Thanks for watching.